I feel like a lot of, especially producers, they put so much damn pressure on themselves, man. You know, they put so much damn pressure on themselves to be like consistently great on every single track. And I understand like, yeah, of course you want to push yourself, you know, you want to push yourself to be, you know, you, you want to drop great stuff all the time, you know, but I've also seen, you know, some, some producers, they'll tell me, oh, this is their hottest track. This is the best track that they've ever produced. And that'll be like the lowest selling beat um, in, in their catalog. And there's, and I'm sure, I'm sure at three, you're, you're, you're one of those guys. You're probably telling, telling Jeezy, like, and he's telling you, you gotta, you gotta work on this track. You're like, nah, man, that's not the one, yeah. you know, that's not the one. <laughs> and, 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 and producers, honestly, I feel like are pretty bad judges of, of, you know, deciding like which track is going to be kind of like the one they need to be pushing, you know, um, almost every time almost every time you, you producers, unless you are, you know, a really established songwriter, like you're just as passionate about writing songs and putting out commercial music producers really can't be telling, can't be predicting which, you know, which beat is, 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 is the one. Mm -hmm. So when they put so much pressure on, on them, when they put so much pressure on themselves to release, you know, music, um, when in reality, the one that they're doubting the most is probably the one that's going to resonate the most with, you know? So how, how do you, how do you, how do you decide, how do you guys decide like what's good enough to go on your store or be pitched out, you know, for, for placement? Like, how do you, how do you decide? Do you, do you, it is a gut feeling or what is it? What you said, what you said is so true. Like I can't tell you how many times like a beat that I think is hot, like is the least selling beat on my store and then it's always the beat where like you were gonna throw it away or like whatever and everyone fucks with that beat so for me like i, I i've realized i can't judge it like i just i just if, if i make it i put it up because you never know what's gonna happen like someone yeah. might hit you up and be like you know like this beat's gonna go to this artist or whatever and so yeah really like i just trust like as long as i, I I've, I've had to like trust that as long as i make it and put it up like it's gonna be fine and someone's gonna find it eventually you know <laughs> mm -hmm. um with me more say more so i have i don't have a lot of people around me i just i actually just moved to atlanta so i ain't got nobody here with me but you know i'll send stuff back and forth from big jeezy he, he confirms i like that or not and then my i also have a lot of musical friends back in indiana i send music to let them hear it get their get there, you know, pick their brain on it. Like, that's fire. I'm like, all right, cool. So I know that people like it. And I, and these aren't yes, man. They tell me if something is trash. You make sure you find somebody who will not tell you it sounds good to try to be your friend because that's not your friend. Um, so I um I do that and I'm like, all right, well, people like it. So we're just going to put it out. <laughs> so that's, yeah. that's usually yeah. how it ends up happening. happening for I me, mean, what, what I can say, and you guys could you know, you probably agree with it too, is that, you know, you guys are not cooking up for one artist, you know, mm -hmm. you're not cooking up for one artist. So you, you, you got to know that some music may not, you know, resonate with a certain demographic of people or a certain city or certain something. You can't just cook for one city. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's someone somewhere that's going to vibe with, with one of those beats, you know, as long as I think if you guys put emphasis on the structure and arrangement um, in the mix, of course, the things that you can really, really control, like the things you can really, really control um, before it becomes like a, a creative session for writing. Um, I think that's that's the stuff producers should be stressing out probably yeah. the most, the mm -hmm. most, right? Another huge thing that I realized too is like, you know, you want to get the most views on on your beat on YouTube or BeatStars or wherever the most plays, but it only takes one person to fuck with it that makes the right song and then it's out of here. You know what I mean? Like some beats that some of my like least viewed beats, you know, like have gone to certain people. And, you know, I, I didn't think anything was gonna happen with them because I was like, oh, no one likes this beat. Not that many people like this beat, mm. but then all it takes is one person to like it and, and buy it, you know, and you never know.